and uh, it has very unique vibrations. If you hold a Rudraksh upon anything which is positive in nature, it will naturally go clockwise. If you hold it on something negative, it will go anti-clockwise. Rudraksh as a seed, this tree mainly grows at certain altitude. Somewhere between 6,500 to 12,000 altitude is where Rudraksh grows in the Himalayan region. And uh, it has very unique vibrations. If you hold a Rudraksh upon anything which is positive in nature, it will naturally go clockwise. If you hold it on something negative, it will go anti-clockwise. If you hold it on something neutral, it will swing like a pendulum. I want to show you what it does, okay? This is just paper, all right? You know about this Rudraksh going clockwise, anti-clockwise, something? Okay. You must tell me which way it's going. Which way is it? This is clockwise, right? Right now, I've not done any energy transfer or anything, just <laughs> crumpled it, okay? Just crumpled it. Just watch this. What's it? So, I don't know if they told you, I'm sure your parents must have told you, your clothes should be properly folded and capped, your bed clothes should be properly folded and capped. This is the difference it makes in your life. Now, why Rudraksh is worn on the body is, one thing is it cleanses the aura. You know what's aura? A-U-R-A. There is a certain field of light and energy around every body, around every object. Every physical object has its own aura, even inanimate objects. These days it is being photographed and recorded in so many different ways. It cleanses your aura. Aura can be from a pitch black aura to a pure white aura. This also is a kind of protection. You know people use negative energies to affect other people's lives. You're aware of this? Uh, what do you call that here? Yes, Billy Shunyam, the black magic or whatever you call it, there are various kinds of arts. One Veda, out of the four Vedas, one Veda is dedicated towards this, the Atharvana Veda, is all about how to manipulate energies to your benefit and somebody's detriment. If you wear Rudraks, it also protects you against that kind of negative situations. Many times, these things could happen to people even though they are not directed towards them. Right now, let's say somebody is doing some black magic to me, but I am not receptive to it. You are sitting here, you may get it. It is not necessary, it must be aimed at you. If you are susceptible at a certain moment, you will get it. Wearing a simple mala gives a certain level of protection for that person. If you just hold your rudraks above the water, it will tell you whether to drink or not. If any food appears in front of you, if you hold it, even if there is a tiny bit of poison in it, instantly it will go anti-clockwise. Let me see, check this water. <laughs> you never know. This is good water. <laughs> you put a tiny drop of poison into this, which you cannot detect by smell or taste, that kind of poison, 
you hold this and see immediately it will go anti-clockwise.